Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan on the anniversary of his accession to power. His Majesty expressed his best wishes of good health and happiness to His Majesty King Abdullah and a further progress and prosperity to the people of Jordan under his leadership. His Majesty stressed the deep rooted and fraternal relations between the two countries and people and their steady progress. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, sent a cable of congratulations to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the success of His Highness Staff Lieutenant Commander Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in completing the Joint Command and Staff Course at the U.S. Marine Corps University in Virginia, USA. His Majesty the King wished His Highness Staff Lieutenant Commander Sheikh Isa bin Salman continued success to join the ranks of loyal youth who are committed to working to serve the homeland to enhance its standing and safeguard its achievements. In the cable, His Majesty the King underscored the crucial importance of education and training in various development sectors, including the military fields. His Majesty the King hailed the pivotal role played the, by the Bahrain Defense Force BDF and its commitment to developing human resources and ensuring their training to assume their patriotic tasks in defending the homeland and protecting its achievements and its uh, civilized march. His Majesty the King commended the BDF personnel's readiness and high efficiency, which reflects their commitment to keeping abreast of recent developments in all sectors, especially the military fields. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, received a cable of congratulations from the Commander of the National Guard, General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Highness congratulated His Majesty the King on the success of His Highness Staff Lieutenant Commander Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in completing the Joint Command and Staff Course at the U.S. Marine Corps University in Virginia, USA. The National Guard commander wished His Highness Staff Lieutenant Commander Sheikh Isa further success in contributing to the military sector in the kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, received a cable of congratulations from the Bahrain Defense Force Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, on the success of His Highness Staff Lieutenant Commander Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in completing the Joint Command and Staff Course at the U.S. Marine Corps University in Virginia, USA. In the cable, the Commander-in-Chief wished His Highness Staff Lieutenant Commander Sheikh Isa success in his efforts and career to serve the homeland under the wise leadership of His Majesty the King. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law 6 of 2023 endorsing the agreement on the system of linking payment systems of the Gulf Cooperation Council countries signed on October 20, 2021, following its approval by the Shura and Representatives Councils. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan on the anniversary of his accession to the throne. His Royal Highness wished Jordan further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister sent a similar cable to the Crown Prince of Jordan, His Royal Highness Prince Hussein bin Abdullah II. His Royal Highness uh, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa congratulated His Highness uh, Staff uh, Lieutenant Commander Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on His Highness's successful completion of the Joint Command and Staff Course from the U.S. Marine Corps University in Virginia, USA. His Royal Highness highlighted the Bahrain Defense Forces' continued development as a result of the support and directives issued by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of prioritizing education and training as a means to develop multiple sectors, including the military. His Royal Highness commended the Bahrain Defense Forces' commitment to offering its staff high-quality training, ensuring they are well prepared to safeguard the kingdom's interests. 
His Royal Highness applauded the readiness and efficiency of Bahrain's armed forces and wished His Highness continued success in his military career. His Royal Highness noted the long-standing relations between Bahrain and the U.S. and their joint commitment to continuing to develop their military and defense. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the outgoing Ambassador of India to Bahrain, Piyush Srivastava, at Gdaybiya Palace to mark the end of his tenure in the kingdom. His Royal Highness highlighted the long-standing relations between Bahrain and India, noting the importance of continuing to strengthen the partnership between the two countries to meet mutually beneficial goals. He emphasized the important role the Ambassador played in bolstering Bahrain-India relations and wished him continue continued success in the future. His Royal Highness highlighted the Kingdom's commitment to continue and to develop multi-sectoral partnerships between Bahrain and India, noting the Indian community's role in supporting the Kingdom's comprehensive development. For his part, the Indian ambassador expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness, commending his support in continuing to develop Bahrain-India relations to meet development objectives that benefit citizens of both countries. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to His Highness Staff Lieutenant Commander Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on his success in completing the Joint Command and Staff course at the U.S. Marine Corps University in Virginia, USA. In the cable, Her Royal Highness hailed the outstanding academic achievement of His Highness Sheikh Isa, lauding his perseverance and commitment to the requirements of this advanced course, which will further enrich his military knowledge and experience. Her Royal Highness praised His Highness's dedicated efforts and commitment to serving the homeland and optimizing its national achievements, reflecting the aspirations of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, and with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander, His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed his best wishes to His Highness Staff Lieutenant Commander Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on completing the Joint Command and Staff Course at the U.S. Marine Corps University in Virginia, USA. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the achievement that came under the royal patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, and the follow-up of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He wished His Highness Sheikh Isa further success and serve in the kingdom. The Royal Guard Special Force Commander Staff His Highness Colonel Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed his best wishes to Staff Lieutenant Commander His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on completing the Joint Command and Staff Course at the U.S. Marine Corps University in Virginia, USA. His Highness Sheikh Khalid said that this achievement is a source of pride and a continuation of His Highness Sheikh Isa's efforts in various sectors, especially the military one. His Highness Sheikh Khalid attributed His Highness Sheikh Isa's success to the continuous support of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, and the follow-up of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He wished His Highness Sheikh Isa further success and in Bahrain. His Highness Staff Lieutenant Commander Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa has successfully completed the Joint Command and Staff Course at the U.S. Marine Corps University in Virginia, USA. On the occasion, His Highness expressed gratitude to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, for his directives and continuous support, which were the key motivators for completing the course. His Highness also expressed gratitude to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa for his support throughout the course, which was integral to His Highness's success. 
His Highness emphasized his commitment to utilizing the knowledge, insights, and strategic disciplines delivered throughout the course to support the kingdom's ongoing development in the military and civilian sectors in service of the kingdom and its people. His Highness also expressed appreciation to the BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, for his ongoing support and for overseeing the facilitation of quality training opportunities for all members of the BDF as part of the overall efforts aimed at enhancing leadership, administrative competence and combat readiness of the force. His Highness noted his pride in the BDF's national efforts and its dedicated service members. His Highness underlined the depth of relation between Bahrain and the U.S. and the advancement of strategic cooperation across all sectors, particularly the military and defense. His Highness thanked the administrative personnel at the U.S. Marine Corps Command and Staff College for their support throughout the course and congratulated Major Sheikh Ali bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa and all other graduates on completing the course and wished them success in their future. Endeavors. The U.S. Marine Corps University is recognized as one of the leading academic institutions for leadership personnel training. The ceremony was attended by senior officials, including the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the President of the Court of the Crown Prince, Sheikh Salman bin Ahmed bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Ambassador of Bahrain to the U.S., Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and senior officers. A training program organized by the Public Prosecution was launched in cooperation with the Judicial and Legal Studies Institute at the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Waqf and the Bahrain Institute of Banking and Finance. The program includes a series of sessions and workshops dealing with legal and practical issues. Like this one are very important in developing and building capacities uh, of dealing with financial crimes at the national level. Uh, as the program is having uh, cross-functional participants from all the different uh, related parties where the participants are being trained on uh, the procedures of detecting and documenting financial crimes and violations and the process of uh, reporting them to, to the relevant authorities to take further actions as per laws, regulations and best practices. We are honored um, to host uh, this event, this training event with the public prosecution uh, because events like this um, help us to develop human capital uh, in the Kingdom of Bahrain, especially with the academy, with the um, anti-money laundering academy and the artificial intelligence academy that we have launched recently uh, for uh, uh, the provision of training programs uh, for, for Bahrainis. The Minister of Labor and Social Development and Chairman of the Labor Market Regulatory Authority Board of Directors, Jamil Ahmedan, addressed the 111th session of the International Labor Conference held in Switzerland. The minister affirmed that consolidating social justice, improving living conditions and promoting dialogue are an integral part of Bahrain's comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King and supported by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He noted that the government of Bahrain launched a series of well thought out policies and programs to support low income segments. He said that Bahrain takes pride in its achievements in advancing social protection as well as its comprehensive initiatives to combat discrimination at work, forced labor and human trafficking. He also expressed Bahrain's pride in its experience in promoting trade union freedoms and strengthening cooperation among social partners. He highlighted Bahrain's efforts to protect the labor market during the COVID-19 pandemic, citing its success in providing health, financial and social support to its affiliates. The Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna Romehi, participated in a special session on achieving universal access to adequate housing through inclusive and stronger multilateralism held on the sidelines of the UNHA2. Upon the direction of His Majesty the King in 2013 to deliver 40,000 units to citizens, Bahrain started building five new sustainable towns and various governorates in the Kingdom of Bahrain. With modern, inclusive and sustainable urban planning design with complete quality of life components, which includes waterfront and public beaches, and as well as providing lanes dedicated to walking and cycling, as well as open spaces and green spaces, and other services such as health, education, 
and commercial facilities. Almost all of us shared the same challenge with rapid increase of population and the association needs to, for urban communities and the resources challenges that comes with it, be it the availability of lands or government budgets. The key solution to overcome this issue is by expanding our relationship with the private sector and making them part of the solution. Bearing that in mind, we had to think outside the box in order to meet the expectations of our people. So we put a strategy that contains three pillars. Pillar number one, innovative and immediate solution through unique financial schemes. We have launched a new financing scheme to give citizens more options to accelerate the pace of having their home, which have enhanced the kingdom long-term sustainable development. The kingdom allocated the biggest budget toward the housing agenda in Bahrain's history, around, around $1.6 billion, in association with the private sector for the years 2023 and 2024. We have doubled the minimum financing amount from $55,000 to $106,000, and the maximum financing amount from $159,000 to $186,000. Pillar number two, government land development program, which was launched in 2019. It represents an opportunity to strengthen an effective relationship between the government and the private sector through the participation of real estate developer companies in the implementation of housing units. The Kingdom of Bahrain strongly condemns and denounces the storming and vandalizing of the headquarters of its embassy and the residence of Bahrain's ambassador in the Sudanese capital Khartoum by an armed group, considering it a serious violation of the rules of international law and diplomatic agreements. In a statement, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs affirmed the need to stop acts of violence and vandalism in Sudan to provide full protection for the headquarters of diplomatic missions and civilian facilities and to push those responsible. It also renewed its call to the Sudanese parties to prioritize wisdom and the supreme national interest and to respond to the Saudi U.S. initiative regarding supporting military operations through dialogue in a manner that meets the aspirations of the brotherly Sudanese people for security, stability, peace and prosperity. The Secretary General of the Gulf Cooperation Council, Jasim Libdewi, also condemned the armed groups as storming and vandalism of Bahrain's embassy in Khartoum and the residence of its ambassador to Sudan. He stressed the need to stop all forms of violence and vandalism, especially those targeting the headquarters of diplomatic missions and their buildings. The Logos Hope Floating Book Fair has returned to Bahrain after quite a few years and will be at Khalifa bin Salman Port from June 7th until June 18th. Logos Hope is a non-profit organization that seeks to share knowledge, help and hope with the world through cultural understanding, relief work and much more. According to GBAships.org, the operator behind Logos Hope, the Floating Book Fair, offers around 5,000 titles spanning a number of gen genres, both for children and adults. The ship welcomes an average of a million customers every year and has now visited over 150 countries and territories. It started its literary operation in 2009 and has since welcomed a whopping 49 million people. The team from Logos Hope go above and beyond even visiting hospitals, schools, orphanages and prisons and providing community care in the countries they dock at. It's an inspirational event uh, today, being on the ship, um, manned by you know over 300 volunteers from from all over the world. I think this is by itself uh, a very impressive um, experience, just to see all these people from you know countries as far as Latin America, Asia, Europe, uh, Africa, coming together in this effort to bring uh, books around the world, to ship books around the world. Um, and, and thereby to, um, to create an intellectual exchange with all the countries where they, where they uh, get to port. So, um, you know, really a beautiful experience. I'm very glad that uh, this ship uh, 
has come to Bahrain. I'll certainly come back with my with my family in the next couple of days, um, and I'm um, uh, very uh, you know looking looking forward to see many people from Bahrain uh, making uh, you know using this offer, uh, coming here, looking at the books, buying books at very cheap prices, um, and thereby getting um, being becoming part of this uh, worldwide experiment. It's an, an amazing experience to be here on the Logos Hope. It's an amazing and the biggest uh, book fair on the water, uh, which returned first time uh, the Logos Hope visited us in 2013. It was also amazing, but this time it's uh, an inspiration. And one of the most important thing about this place is that uh, Logos Hope bring the help and hope uh, for every country uh, during knowledge, you know, like during this time, and um, they bring knowledge and inspiration and also culture because on the Logos Hope there are so many uh, different nationalities and each time it's like visiting this place it's like you know you are just uh, inside an inspirational community uh, which also the most important bring uh, culture and knowledge. We are very happy to be back in Bahrain after about 10 years we're looking forward to welcome the people of Bahrain uh, and the neighbors uh, on board Logos Hope and uh, we hope this will be a teamwork uh, we hope this will also have a good impact on the tourism of Bahrain and people will visit not only the ship but also uh, Bahrain and uh, the touristic attractions.